Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect Facebook Pixel to your Google Tag. So first thing first, you want to go to tagmanager.com or you just want to search Tag Manager on your browser. So on this page, what you want to do is go to Tags. Alright, so you want to create a new tag. Okay, then you select name. Okay, so you, uh, you can name your tag. Uh, let's say uh, first tab. All right. Uh, then you wanna click on tab configuration. This right here. All right. So then you wanna click on discover more tab types. Uh, so right here you wanna search for face Facebook. All right, so right here, Facebook pixel, then you click on that. All right, so right here, you want to click on add to workspace. All right, so you want to input your Facebook pixel ID. All right, so you, you have to make sure you're on your Facebook, then you copy your picture ID right here. So I'm going to input my ID. All right, so. Uh, the next thing you want to do is click on enable advanced matching. Okay, so I'm not going to go into details on how this works. Okay, you can check out videos on what it's on about. So, uh, tag firing priority. I need custom tag firing schedules. You can check out this. So then you scroll down and you click on tag firing. So if you don't have all pages set up, Okay, you can create a new page. It's pretty easy. Just click on this plus icon and then you name your trigger. You click on this and select the page views, cos anchor, initialization page view. You do do that. So, trigger. And so I have this set up. So just, you can just select inches. Okay. So once you've done there, okay, you put this. So you just want to click on save. Okay. All right. So once you're done with that, uh, you close it. So once you click on save, uh, all you want to do is just uh, select the meta picture ID you just added. Okay. You select the one you just added from Facebook and then you click on submit. So once you click on submit, you uh, add a descriptive name and details if you want to. All right, Facebook pixel templates and date, and then you publish. It's pretty easy and straightforward. Okay, so if you gain something from this video, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.